What's going on everyone? This is Andrew with On The Water and welcome to the first episode of Real Adventures. It's kind of a fitting time to get this series going with the adventure that we're all going through. Here in Massachusetts, we're still allowed to get outside, enjoy the outdoors. The fishing season is really just getting started here on Cape Cod. So definitely have a good feeling about today. We're going to a freshly stocked kettle pond here on the lower Cape and we're definitely off the beaten path and we're gonna be able to keep our social distance from people too. This is a really popular pond on Cape Cod but there's plenty of shoreline to explore and we're just hoofing it to the spot now. So we're gonna get started with this little spinner right here. Definitely a fair bit of crosswind, but with the right spinner, you can still punch it out pretty far. There we go. That's our first fish right there. Decent rainbow. All right, that's a pretty rainbow. Nice spots on this guy. We're gonna let him slide right on home. Good to be on the board. We are definitely battling this uh, cross breeze though. Let's see if we can get another guy. See, there's a school of them. There's a bit of a debate in terms of what the fish do right after they're stocked, whether they school up or spread out. Right now, we're pretty far away from where they actually stock them. So we'll see what's, uh, what's going on. There's another one. Right where the other one hit too. colors on this guy. All right, there's another pretty rainbow. So that guy hit exactly where the first fish did. So let's see if there's a school over here to our, over here to our right. Just slow rolling that spinner. There's another one. Yeah, they seem to be really balled up right now. Oh, be still on. Oh, that guy escaped. That fish also hit exactly where the other two did, almost to a T. But definitely think they're schooled up. All right, let's see if we can draw up another. Oop, just had a whack. Slow rolling that spinner. Now the first one had some size to it. The other two are pretty small. Let's see if we can draw up something a little bit bigger. This wind is definitely picking up a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get out of this wind a little bit. Woo. So we made a little bit of a location move here. Oh, just had a whack. We have the wind at our back, and sometimes I think targeting this still water this time of year, especially when there's a lot of bug hatches going on, can be a good move. Not to mention it's a little bit warmer out of the wind. It almost looks like we got a little rip line here with the way the wind's blown. Right out there, it's pretty choppy from that wind coming through. And right where I'm standing, it's pretty sheltered. So maybe that's enough to uh, hold some fish. We'll see. All right, we're gonna make one more move and see what we can do. All right, so before we head back, we're gonna give it a whirl one more time at that spot where the fish were set up before. Let's see if they're still there. All right, we're gonna see if we can throw them up. Another fish from that spot that was giving them up earlier. One more. Nice. Ooh, this is a better fish. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice brown trout. That's the fish we're looking for. Don't come unpinned. These are strong fish, especially on these light setups. Oh yeah, man, look at that guy. That's a good fish right there. Oh yeah, guys. That's a good fish right there. He is chomping at the bit to get home though, so. There he goes. Nice. Woo! All right. It's definitely still chilly out there, but at least we were able to get some fish. So we got those three nice rainbows to start and then we topped it off with that big brown trout at the end. And I've noticed that the brown trout would usually turn on right as that sun sets and that was the case today. So get out there if you can do so safely and I'll talk to you next time.